All right, chimney flashing. This is gonna be our SOP for flashing a chimney. Part one is doing the step flashings. So we already have um, ice and water going up. We have our underlayment back over top. Finish that when we get there. So what we're gonna do, this chimney goes to the gable end and then goes over the peak and back down. So a little different than a standard chimney that would be in the middle of a roof. Our first step flashing is going to sit at the corner and we're gonna shingle up and just past the front wall so our shingle is sitting past here. If you wanna put that step flashing in, Ah, we're gonna cut a new one. Okay, so the way we're gonna do our first step flashing is we're gonna set it in, and this point here needs to be an inch past this wall. So bring it past, and then we're gonna make a mark up here where this hits. Yeah, you can draw it, and then what we're gonna cut is from this point down to the point of the step flashing. Nice new blues. I love those. I love go the other way. Put do it upside down so everyone can see. Yeah. You're gonna go from the point. You don't necessarily need to draw that line as long as you have that point, and then down to that point. And what that does is gives you a really nice one-inch pass. So you have to drop it even more. So the main thing is that this step flashing drains onto this shingle. So we're gonna have to slide it down a bit more. Bit more, keep on, keep on, keep on, keep on. Yeah, so it's gotta be that half inch onto that shingle. Hang on. Perfect, just like that. So we're gonna have to trim a little bit more. So make make a new mark, uh, at the, just a little mark at the top, and then we'll trim it again. And this is the most important flashing you ever do on a chimney or skylight. Anywhere you gotta do step flashing is the first one is the most important that it's done correctly. Because if not, that is where all the leaks happen, all the rotted wood is from somebody just throwing it in and either doing it backwards, tucking it under the shingle or not having it uh, drain out on top of the shingle, but actually underneath. All right, bring it down just a titch more. I wonder what a half inch on that shingle, yeah. Yeah, right there. All right, so that looks perfect for a half inch onto the shingle. Yep. Next time we'll nail a little bit farther out. These could be a little bit farther out here. Okay, and now we're gonna do the uh, the first shingle. All right, so we have the first shingle in. And what you're gonna notice is that normally there will be a little exposed metal here. Don't worry about that because once we put this flashing on the front and up the side of this chimney, it's gonna bury that. We actually uh, need this so that it drains out on this shingle. Sometimes it works out where you don't see very much. Sometimes you see a lot, but once we get that front flashing on and the side flashing, you won't see it anymore. Okay, now it's gonna be standard step flashings all the rest of the way up, which we have two videos on. We'll check those out and we'll be back when we get to the flashing section.